My name is Andre Loy and I am the President of the International Federation of Organic Agricultural Movements and we are the global umbrella body for the whole organic sector. And my particular role as President is really like the, the roaming or global ambassador. I go to events around the world, I speak about organic agriculture, about iPhone. I also have meetings with uh, various organisations like people within the UN, with different industry groups, with governments, with ministers, about various aspects of organic agriculture. And um, how did you come to, uh, with your, uh, your busy, busy schedule, how did you uh, decide that you needed to write a book about the myth of safe pesticides? Well, it's something that's actually been on my mind for a very long time. I come from a farming family and I was the one who would always get very ill as a child you know, from, from pesticides. So I was always going to be an organic farmer, but over the years I've, I've noticed a lot of illness in farming communities, particularly you know, cancers, uh, degenerative nerve diseases, uh, children, you know, child's behavioural problems like ADHD and other problems which are actually growing rapidly and you start to ask questions. So I started researching it and I suppose I started to write the first papers on it about 10 years ago, but really it's the last two years that I, I turned it into a book because we're getting a lot of regulatory people saying there's no reason to eat organic food because there's nothing wrong with the pesticide levels in the food that we have at the moment. And I felt that that really needed to be, to be answered, so I started looking at the science what the world's best experts and scientists were saying over it and about it. And to my surprise, I learned that the regulatory authorities are, are actually ignoring a large body of scientific research and making their decisions essentially on data-free assumptions when they should be using the best science to make their decisions. And when we start looking at the scientific papers and the experts they're ignoring, it gets very c concerning. You know, there's organisations like the United States President's Cancer Panel and their recommendations and they show how you know, about 80% of cancers come from environmental exposures, particularly chemicals and pesticides. This is being ignored. Um, the World Health, or Health Organization, the United Nations Environmental Program, put out a very good meta-study on how chemicals, and particularly pesticides, are endocrine disruptors. And this is very important for children and for the unborn because what, as an endocrine disruptor, they're disrupting the hormone system and disrupting the way hormones signal events when children start growing limbs, nervous systems, their brains, and this leads to a whole range of behavioural and other problems that last their whole life. And we know that when these chemicals work as endocrine disruptors, they can work in parts per trillion, which is the equivalent of one drop in three Olympic-sized swimming pools. And the standard testing can look at that at parts per million or bigger amounts and it seems reasonably safe, but when we take it down to these very small amounts and they start acting like hormones, we're finding that they're very unsafe. And we need to make sure that every single pesticide and residue is actually tested at these small levels. At the moment, they are just using extrapolations and data-free assumptions as saying they're, s they're safe. They have no evidence-based science to say that it is safe.